This is the last thing that Johnny touched. It is what John found when Johnny hadn't delivered his papers. Des Moines realtor Ron Sampson is the caretaker of an important piece of Central Iowa history, a wooden red wagon that belonged to Johnny Gosh. Think of the significance of that wagon. I mean, I'm getting the chill sitting here and it's 105 degrees. It's the same wagon Gosh left behind in West Des Moines the Sunday morning he vanished without a trace. The wagon full of newspapers along with scattered rubber bands on a suburban sidewalk. Despite national media attention, books, and countless news stories, police never solved the crime. It's one of the most infamous cold cases in Iowa history. Too many people today don't know that story. So Sampson, who is storing the wagon for Johnny's father, decided to find a place to display the wagon. The Iowa State Patrol said yes. It's, you know, it's a very somber thing. Mark Logston was a West Des Moines teenager when he volunteered to search the suburb for the missing paper boy back in 1982. I certainly understand the pain and, and uh, uh, angst that goes with, with never having any kind of closure to this case. Now the Iowa State Patrol captain has agreed to display the wagon and its history at the patrol spot inside the grandstand at the Iowa State Fair. One would really hope that that would cause someone to maybe have information in this case that would be able to be of use. Logston and Sampson will never forget the day Gosh disappeared. They want to make sure the rest of Iowa doesn't forget either. Anybody who sees that at the fair, whether they know the story or not, if they don't get the chills or get choked up, they better check their pulse.